Hello everybody and welcome to the latest Amber Army YouTube video. Today I'm Taff and I'm bringing you my top 10 players to emerge from non-league. I'm going to be doing 10 players in ascending order um, based on their ability, their sheer size of climb from the non-league and their achievements in the game. So that's all my criteria from how I've ranked them. But um, I will be giving a few honourable mentions before I get into number 10. Being a Newport County supporter, this sort of means a lot to me after following them through non-league and now in the Football League. So these players individual have made that climb. DJ Campbell started his career with Chesham, Stevenage and Yedding, believe it or not. Yannick Balassi, who I rate really, really highly, actually played non-league for Hillington Borough. Jared Bowen, now playing in the Premier League for West Ham. Uh, played for Hereford United. Jermaine Beckford, who was famous playing for Leeds, he played for Wealdstone in non league. Current Wolverhampton Wanderers player Max Kilman started out at Welling United. Shea Adams, now of Southampton, Oldby Town and Ilkeston before joining Birmingham, then Southampton. Champions League winner Steve Finnan kicked off his career at Welling United. Glenn Murray played for Wilmington Hammerheads and Barrow in non-league. Andre Gray played for Hindley United and also for Luton Town during their non-league stint. Solly March played for Luez before ending up playing Premier League for Brighton and then finally Sam Klukas played for Hereford United. So now I'm going to start my countdown of my top 10. As I said, the criteria for this is opinion of their ability, their size of the climb from non-league and their achievements overall in the game. So here we go. Starting off with number 10 is Charlie Austin. Charlie Austin played for Kintbury Rangers, Hungerford, Thatcham and Poole United before, as you can see there, joining Swindon Town. Um, he was actually a bricklayer whilst he was at Poole. And then after Swindon, a, success, a successful spell there, he ended up going on to play for Burnley. He also went on to play for QPR, where he started really making his name in the Premier League, before getting himself um, a nice little move to Southampton. Uh, but he's also played for West Bromwich Albion in the Premier League. Uh, his goal scoring record in the Premier League is fairly decent to be fair. At number 9 we got Joe Hart. Now, he's only down at number 9 for me because of the dip in his career overall. Uh, but uh, his climb from non-league wasn't a big one. He was playing for Shrewsbury during a short spell for them in the non-league. But Joe Hart has obviously played for Man City. Um, he's got 75 caps for England, believe it or not. He's probably the most decorated player on here, winning um, the... Premier League in 2012 and 2014, won the FA Cup in 2011 and two League Cups in 2014 and 2016. He now plays for Spurs but has also played Premier League football for Burnley. Jimmy Bullard comes in for me now at number seven. Uh, Jimmy Bullard, sorry number eight. Uh, Jimmy Bullard started his career at Dartford and Gravesend and Northfleet before getting a move to West Ham when he never really broke into the first team. He made his name mainly playing for Wigan during their climb to the Premier League, but has also played for Fulham and Hull in the Premier League. He's also played for Ipswich and ended his career early with MK Dons. He was a League Cup runner-up in 2006. Uh, he was uh, called up to the England squad three times but never really made it into their team, so never got himself a cap. Uh, was called by Paul Jewell the heart and soul of the dressing room. Now he makes his career on TV. Ashley Williams comes in for me now at number seven. I'll get it right this time. Ashley Williams kicked off his professional, well, not professional, but senior career with Hensford Town after being let go from West Bromwich Albion. He went on to play football league with Stockport County before moving on a permanent deal after a brief loan spell with Swansea. Um, which is pretty much where he made his name when he won the League Cup in 2013. He also went on to play for Everton, uh, a loan spell at Stoke and Bristol City before retiring. Uh, mainly renowned for being the captain of Wales, 86 caps and two goals, one of them as you can see the celebration here coming in a quarter final of the Euro 2016. He captained them to the semi-final which is as far as they got 
and um, Ashley Williams, what can I say? For me personally, being Welsh, an absolute legend. To come from non-league and do what he's done, awesome. Mikhail Antonio, for me, comes in at number six, starting his career. Uh, playing for quite some time, mind you, in the non-league, with Tooting to Toot and Mitcham United. Before earning himself a move to Reading. He also played for Sheffield Wednesday and Nottingham Forest before getting his uh, Premier League move to West Ham where he sort of transformed himself into a household striker now at West Ham. A very dangerous forward player who no defenders really like coming up against. A good combination of strength and pace. Um, a fact about um, Mikel Antonio, he's been called up for England, he's uncapped but he actually rejected the opportunity to play for Jamaica. We'll see by the end of his career whether that was actually the best call for him. I do hope he gets to play for England though. So coming in at number 5 for me is Chris Smalling. So Chris Smalling started his career with Maidstone before joining Fulham. He actually joined Middlesbrough before Fulham but uh, after a very short time had his contract cancelled because he was homesick so he moved back to London and joined Fulham instead. Worked out alright for him in the end because he ended up moving on to Manchester United where he won the Premier League twice in 2011 and 2013. He got an FA Cup in 2016 and he won the League Cup and the Europa League in 2017. And now it actually turns out after a successful loan spell um, from Manchester United with Roma on a permanent uh, uh, basis. He's actually been capped a pretty impressive 31 times for England, scoring one goal for his country. So here you'll see Kevin Phillips. Kevin Phillips comes at number four for me. Uh, this was him playing for Baldock Town, appearing on the front of their programme for a game. He obviously then moved on to Watford, but you'd say he really made his name whilst playing for Sunderland. Whilst playing for Sunderland, he actually won the um, Player of the Year and the Golden Boot in the Premier League in the year 2000. He's been capped eight times by England, but has unfortunately not got any goals. He has got a League Cup to his name from 2011. Um, Watford, Sunderland, Aston Villa, Southampton, West Brom, Birmingham City, Blackpool, Crystal Palace and Leicester. And, as you'd expect, he scored goals for all of them. Coming in at number three, Les Ferdinand. He actually played non-league for Southall and for Hayes before they became Hayes and Yelling, of course. Moved on to QPR. Uh, he then moved on to Newcastle. He also played for Spurs, West Ham, Leicester, Bolton, Reading and Watford. He won the Players' Player of the Year in the Premier League in 1996. He's a League Cup winner with Spurs in 1999. He was capped 17 times by England. Quite an impressive considering uh, how good I personally think he was. 17 caps and 5 goals. Um, he's in the e uh, Premier League 100 club, as was Kevin Phillips. I forgot to mention that when I was talking about him. Um, part of a footballing dynasty of a family. Um, he is the cousin of Rio and Anton and Kane Ferdinand, all of you would have heard of them all, who play professional football. Coming in at number two, the penultimate name now is Ian Wright. Ian Wright actually kicked off his uh, senior career with Greenwich Borough before eventually making his move to Crystal Palace and then where he really made his name for himself here as you'll see at Arsenal. With Arsenal he won the Premier League in 1998, he won a Cup Winners' Cup in 94 and won two FA Cups in 1993 and 1998. He got 33 caps for England which I think was a bit disappointing considering how good he was. 33 caps for England uh, scoring 9 goals. Um, but before he actually got into football with Greenwich Borough, he actually spent two weeks in jail for not paying fines after he was found guilty of driving without insurance and a licence. Funny enough, way to end things on a high note. Then into our number one. I think this was always going to be an obvious one for everybody, Jamie Vardy. Jamie Vardy comes in at number one. Started his senior career at Stockbridge Park Steels up in Sheffield before moving on to Halifax and Fleetwood in the non-league before eventually for £1 million pound, making the move to Leicester City. He won the Premier League in 2016. He's part of the, the 100 goals club for the Premier League. And as you can see he, him there holding a golden boot. He's been capped 26 times for England, scoring seven goals. And believe it or not, when he was um, at Stocksbridge, he was uh, a technician making medical splints. So there you have it. 
uh, a star-studded list there, all of them playing non-league at some point. So I really appreciate you watching this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like, please share it, please subscribe to the channel. All help is absolutely appreciated. Thanks for watching. Cheerio for now, and as always, up the candy. Many thanks for watching the latest content on the Amber Army channel. Please make sure you leave us a like. Make sure you subscribe for more content, both for the neutral football fan and also plenty of Newport County. Even more Newport County uh, content can be found on the club's iFollow channel on the link above. It is just £4.49 per month to subscribe to that service. And those of you feeling extra generous can also support us on Patreon on the link at the bottom there. Um, that would be a monthly donation of your choice. Thank you again. Make sure you've subscribed and as always up the county.